Good afternoon and welcome to the INSEAD Alumni Forum Europe. We're delighted that so many of you have been able to come to London for this fantastic event. Uh, and we thank very much um, our speakers, um, our sponsors and indeed the school for all of the support that they have given us. Thank you also to the UK NAA and the organising committee for um, arranging this, this large event. Business is undoubtedly a force for good. If you study and apply it properly, you can change the well-being of millions of people in a relatively short span of time. Now, those aren't my words, those are the words of our Dean, Ilion Mihoff. Um, the dramatic increase in the average life expectancy during the 20th century has got to be one of society's greatest achievements. Um, although most babies born in 1900 didn't live past the age of 50, today in most countries, average life expectancy exceeds 81, and much of this is recent. Um, only 50 years ago, a life expectancy in Southeast Asia was 45 years old, um, compared to 74 years today. And much of this increase has come from the impact of business, from the development of medicines, affordable vaccines, food production and distribution systems, and transportation and communication systems. However, we face many big challenges ahead. The world's population is estimated to rise from 7 billion to 9 billion by 2050. And today, 860 million people go to bed every day hungry. 1 billion don't have access to a toilet. 2.5 billion have got no access to safe drinking water. And every year, 6 million children die before the age of five. Governments, business, civil society, and citizens globally are all in agreement that there has to be an end to this extreme poverty, inequality, injustice, and protection for the planet. And these are fundamental and increasingly pressing issues. In the words of Paul Polman, the CEO of Unilever, talking about the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, which were agreed as recently as September 2015, he said, it is the only opportunity we have to get a moral framework for the world. And today, failed states, failed economies have led as we can see on our TV screens, to mass migration on an unprecedented scale, straining the economies and the structures of the Europe that we, we live in. Now, business is not equipped and cannot solve all of these problems, but it can go some way in the creation of jobs, providing positive human purpose, provision of infrastructure, and providing ultimately the funding that allows government services to be delivered that are essential to a stable society. However, we know that business doesn't always get it right. The pursuit of profit, unclear goals, have led to numerous scandals in recent years. And there is a perception by some that a career in business is simply a path to personal self-enrichment. I hope that this forum will create an opportunity to discuss this very important topic, central to all of our lives as business leaders. I very much uh, hope you find this two-day panel very enriching and stimulating. I encourage you to, to mingle and to network with your fellow alumni and distinguished speakers. And once again, I welcome you to London and uh, thoroughly um, hope that you will enjoy the, the forum for the next two days. Thank you very much for coming.